Hello, this is Automotive Reviews. And uh, thank you guys for coming to the channel. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. You guys are fantastic. And let's get to the uh, subject at hand. The Ford Mustang Chevy GT350 versus the Porsche 911 Carrera S. Which is the better all-around sports car? Let's see, for as long as there has been Ford Mustangs, there's been a Porsche 911. From nearly the moment the two sports cars were introduced, both in 1964, enterprising car enthusiasts have been turning the Mustang and the 911 into road racers and rally cars. Perhaps none was more famous than uh, Carroll Chevy's Mustang, our Porsche's early rally winning 911s. 55 years later, the successor of the first generation Mustang and 911 are flying their performance flag strong. As of this summer, no version better represent the iconic originals than the 2019 Ford Mustang Chevy GT350 and the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S. The Chevy GT350 and the 911 Carrera S might seem like they appeal to a widely different buyers, but for those who truly love to drive, both have lots to offer. The Mustang Chevy is the car we're more familiar with of the two. The latest iteration of the S550 Mustang, the updated for 2019 Chevy GT350 Sports Gripper performance tires, stiffer springs, shocks to take advantage of the newfound grip, revised Brembo brakes, and improved aerodynamics, employing lessons learned from the coming 760 horsepower 2020 Ford Chevy GT500. The Chevy Taylor made flat plane crank is high revving. 5.2 liter V8 is unchanged. Thankfully, it still makes a healthy 526 horsepower and 429 pound feet of torque. And it comes paired to a six speed manual transmission. Now the 992-2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S looks like its predecessor from the outside, but under the aluminum skin sits a slightly larger platform than before. A rear mounted engine that's creeping ever forward and too many tweak changes are new parts to count. The biggest new sits under the chrome stakes of, our, of the yellow 911 rear deck. A revamped 3.0 liter twin turbo flat six making 443 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. Matted to Porsche mind reading PDK dual clutch transmission, which for 2020 now has eight speeds and is up from seven. With the keys to the revised Chevy and a completely revamped 911 in hand. Motor Trend first stop was a local test track. The Mustang has both the power and power to rate racial advantage, but the Porsche has a feather like curb weight and a PDK. It's all a bit unfair. Aided by lunch control, simply engage Sports Plus, put your left foot on the brake, and match that gas. And your right foot and the Porsche zips from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. And through the quarter mile in 11.2 seconds at 123.8 miles per hour. The old school Chevy requires far more work. A combination of grippy Michelin Pilot Sports Cup 2 tires. A manual a torque peak that begins at nearly 5,000 RPM works against it. It has a rudimentary launch control, but more experienced drivers such as road test editor Chris Walton from Motor Trend would be far faster launching a Chevy the old fashioned way. There's so much grip that it's easy to bog, he said. After posting the 4.060 
run in a 12.3 second quarter mile at 117 miles per hour. I had to go as high as 5,000 RPMs to get some tire slip. And even then, it's a little tricky to modulate with the throttle. In the battle of the brakes, the 911 comes out ahead again. Just as optional carbon ceramic stoppers helped it ace the 60 to 0 in just 94 feet. The Ford needed a foot more to do the deed. That 12 inch difference likely accounts for the Porsche's superior performance on the figure 8 too, where it's 23.2 seconds time. At 0.989 G average best at the Mustang, 23.6 at 0.83. Car and driver literally had to intervene with, with, my, with, them, with themselves to stop lapping. Testing director Kim Reynolds said of the Porsche after the figure eight is so balanced while cornering that you can position it just where you want it and the brakes are strong and predictable so I could insert it into the corners maybe within a foot look at that cornering proudness on the road the two sports cars feel shockingly similar despite taking a different approaches The inherent design of the Porsche dates back to the 1930 economy car intended to get the fascist Germany on wheels, but it's really the more modern of the two. The 911 is loaded with technology designed to make you faster in a straight line and quicker around corners. On the latter front, the 911 combines this lighter, leaner platform with four wheel steering and those karma swimming stumpers to help the Porsche flow from corner to corner like only a 911 can. There's nothing this car won't, won't do with me or for me, one said. The way it throws you out of the corner with the 911 light talk of the steering remains their hallmark alone. But now it's been exploited to its greatest effect. The 911 offers supercar turn in and chassis dynamics, even on the base model. The 911 twin turbo flat six is equally thrilling. It has more than enough power to tap to keep you entertain and engage. It's 400 hard-working ponies are enough to get you into trouble. But more important, it's not enough to scare you into avoiding it. And then there's the 911 PDK. If I can paraphrase anything for a moment the Porsche latest PDK helps make more of more it shifts up and down so fast and so accurately that it practically telepathic more than the shifting the racial spread between first and eight gear is optimized to ensure the boxer engine is always in the sweet spot who needs a manual those who prefer the Chevy GT350 that's who, where, where, where is, the 911 experience is a pure digital bath in the 21st century technology. The Mustang is old school. Front engine, rear drive, six speed manual, connected to one of the best V8s ever made. The glue holding GT350 together is really the is engine. The flat plane crank V8 has a character that few other modern engines can match. Revving so high and so fast that it almost feels jet like. Paired with the uh, bolt-action precise six-speed, the Mustang powertrain is always in sync with this driver, always hitting the exact rav you want when hill towing, and always working hard, pushing for more when rung out on the long straight. The GT350 V8 is an extra organ. You never knew you needed it. Like the Porsche, the Ford can handle too. Although more high strung than a 911 and prone to uh, trembling or trim lining, the Chevy is nevertheless well balanced. The Shelby, that is, is nevertheless well balanced. I just want to make sure I didn't say Chevy, but Shelby. Helping to shake lesser Mustangs who's oversteer into a crowd at cars and coffee vibe. It's buttoned down and sporty in a way no muscle car has the right to be. 
one said. It's so engaging, remarkably precise, and full of emotion. The executive ed editor, Mark Rechton, agreed. Put the Chevy on a winding road and holy hands grenades. This thing is like a Mustang I've, I've ever driven. It feels glued to the road and absolutely predictable. Thankfully, the biggest difference between the two cars is their price. Neither is cheap, but the Ford is certainly the more affordable. The 2019 Chevy GT350 starts at $61,535. And an absolute bargain at as, its as tested price of $64,880. It sold options with a handling package, which includes the rear uh, gurney flap, and a premium package, which adds an upgrade to the stereo CarPlay, among other things. The 2020 911 Carrera S starts at a whopping $114,650. And $114,650. And when option with all the available performance figures, you're talking about $143,350. You're talking about two Mustang and an extra car. So which car is the better all-around sports car? Both cars are within inches of each other in the driving experience department, but if cost is no objects, we're taking a 911 Carrera S. The Chevy 3D GT350 is a phenomenal car and easily one of the best Fords ever made. High praise for the 116 year old company. But the Porsche approachability and its singular focus on the driving experience won out the editors. Simply put, no other car on the road offers supercar levels of performance in such a driver-friendly package. It's a car that pushes you to be at your limits, and just when you reach that crest, it reveals a new layer for you to conquer. Although the Porsche wins this battle, we doubt it'll be the last one as both cars edge closer to a century marks. So... What an awesome, what an awesome cars, folks. So the winner by far is the Porsche. But the one that's affordable and the one that's truly American is no other than the Ford Mustang Chevy GT350. And that baby is nice. It is beautiful, folks. Look at the way that baby looks. Let's look at that we're in, folks. And it's nothing like the sound of a Mustang. You can hear that from far away. You know it's a Mustang. That sound alone is an emotional attachment that's hard to detach yourself from. What an awesome car, folks. Ford Mustang GT350. Chevy GT350 is just awesome, folks. You're going to love this car. And the winner is the Porsche. Let's take some more looks at this baby. Look at that engine and that Mustang. It's just awesome, folks. They say, Motor Trend says it's the best V8 engine in a car. And it blew their minds as far as a Ford Mustang. You got the Porsche, you can't see nothing but the fins. So basically, you ain't gonna be looking at the engine. But this thing's a beast right here. Has a lot of character. It has more character than the Porsche. So a lot of people are gonna disagree with that, um, with the Motor Trend thoughts that it's the best. But I think the Mustang has a lot, lot more character. And I think those who can't afford either one, you know, those that like them both, they can, they can afford them both. The Mustang is just a drop in the bucket as far as money is concerned. Let's look at that interior. It's definitely basic. Nice though. Nice aluminum pedals. You got everything you need. And the seats are definitely, Carl's seats are definitely, definitely nice, folks. You got the nice shifter. Uh, six speed is just awesome, folks push button start Mustang is the bomb folks let's make that smaller and now let's make it larger definitely sweet nice definitely nice and you have the Porsche now the Porsche is just a beast folks you got to be quite wealthy in order to get one of these babies and then you got the seats they're very very comfortable Definitely nice, folks. You got that little razor shifter. Everything about the Porsche is just so modern and so clean. 
these two cars has two different markets. You know, I think it's sort of unfair to bring these two cars together. But then it's a hats off to Ford to be able to do this. I went to Daytona before, like I said, and I saw that when the Ford Mustang first came about, it was like 2000, I can't remember the exact year, but I think it had to be in the early 2000, like 2008 around there sometime, probably 2006. But I saw that new body Mustang and how it was keeping up with the other GT cars on the track. Uh, my jaw just dropped. But this Porsche is just awesome, folks. You're talking about $143,000 loaded. And you're talking about this one, only 64000 You can't beat it, folks. This is AO Automotive Reviews. Thanks for coming. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And take care. You guys are fantastic. If nobody told you you're fantastic today, I'm telling you that you are fantastic. Always changing. Always awesome. You can't perceive who you are because you're always changing. You're just awesome. Awesome people. Love you guys. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.